Hello, my name is Michael Levin. This is the Kaiser Board. Now, uh, it was recently Black Friday, so I checked out some online stores and got a few games. So I'm going to come at you with uh, one of the games I got, which is Flick 'em Up Dead of Winter. Now, the original Flick 'em Up game was uh, basically it was a Western themed game where you got to flick the discs, the, which were the guns, and you got to take out the, your enemies. In this one, they took those same, same mechanics, added a few more mechanics in, and combined it with the Dead of Winter theme. Here's the rule book in English. Again, we'll take a, a closer look in a minute. Here's the, the uh, rule book of French. Here is what you need to make the zombie tower. What the zombie tower is is basically it's like a dice, it's like a dice tower, but the zombie meeples. Because uh, when you make too much noise, you're gonna put the zombie tower right up to the right up next to the closest zombie to the character that made the noise. Take as take X amount of zombies, put it through there. Some will come, not all will come out. Some will get stuck in the tower. But whatever comes out rushing out, uh, if it hits you, you take a little damage. So there's sticker for zombies. We have stickers for the hero meeples and for other things. We have tokens. And boy, do we have tokens. Got the buildings and the stuff. Put them up. Basically, you build up the town. I guess three D town. Apparently this is this is scenario based as well, so you have several scenarios to go through. You have the hero characters. You have I can't really sure if that's weapons or what. Again, we're going for both of us in the moment. You have barrels and you have boxes and crates. You have weapons that you flick. Again, we're going to close the look. You have zombies. And you have, I think this is the bases for the buildings. And you have little standy things. And little nubs to, uh, for dials or something. Then you get cards. Okay, so first off you get your uh what's oh, it is this French these are the French cards. Okay these are the French cards that I opened up first. But you get your rolls got your Actually, you have cr your crosswords, cross your crossroad cards, and again, like I say, we'll go into a post look, and I will take a look through them. Even though I don't speak or read French, some of you may. Oh, these are the English cards. Yep, you got the, uh, so you got your rolls, what you need to do to win, 
So this is a lot, apparently a lot more like the. I didn't honestly think there was going to be traitors in this, but I heard that I heard rumors there might have been, but like saying I never heard for sure. So here's the cro some crossroad cards. Okay, once I. When I go into it, I'm probably not going to show every one of them. But let's take a closer look. Okay, so let's take a look at a closer look at what's inside. Flick them up, dead of winter. And you get the rule book. Or the assembly stuff, how to assemble stuff. Set up the game. Different items. And then you got scenarios. Then you have the French version. Well, this would be good for uh, this would be good for Richard Holby, uh, especially if he wants to teach his kids. That way, he could. His kids are, he's bilingual, his wife is French, and his kids are bilingual. Or he's, he's yeah, he has them, he's pretty much, he's been teaching them French, they've been learning French and English, so. That would be good for uh, Richard, give him pra give the kids practice with the French and the English. This looks like I seen this uh, when I seen when I heard about this. I'm like, oh my god, that sounds foolish. And I seen it reviewed, and I don't know if I, I don't think I seen any playthroughs, but like I say, from hearing people talk about how it works, I said, oh, that sounds so much fun. So, but I didn't think I was gonna. I wasn't planning on getting it because I honestly didn't think my wife was gonna uh, would enjoy it. But I was telling her about it, and she's like. It would, during the Black Friday sale, I was like, oh, look, they have that off for a really good price. And then I was telling her about how I played. She's like, well, you may as well order it. I'm like, really? Yeah, yeah, that does sound like fun. I'm like, awesome. You get the zombies. You can use stickers, those stickers on, and big chunky, chunky plastic things. And I'm pretty sure this is uh bases for the buildings and such and this is for like the street lights and things like little things like that and i'm not sure what the what what suppose it's been around maybe it's probably for those for the uh for the zombie towers it's probably for the zombie tower you got these weapons you got uh basal bat you got machete I'm guessing these are bullets. I'm not sure what the black pucks are for. You got your hero pieces. You can put the stickers on. 
You got these barrels and you got the crates. I get stickers right there. Now these I don't I don't know what these are supposed to be for really. I'll find out once I get going, I'm sure. But uh These are the French cards, and like I say, I'm not going to show you all of them, because I don't want to spoil that much for you, if you do. If you can read French, then I don't want to spoil it for you. If you can't read French, then well, a quick go through is probably a good idea, so it's not to bore you. And I'm not sure what this is supposed to represent. Safe, safe, safe. There's probably where the dice is safe, 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 safe hit. I'm guessing like the uh, exposure dice. And again, the English one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip through quickly. I don't want to ruin too many things here. And then the crossroad ones. And then again, you got the splatter footprint, 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 footprints. So I'm guessing footprints is get through safely, plus splatter is not so safe. But that is what you get in Flick 'em Up Dead of Winter. If you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe, comment. We love getting comments. Uh, we have a Facebook group if you want to join that. Uh, there'll be a link down the bottom. Go ahead and click that. Come talk to us. Let us know what you think. Do you think this looks like an initial game? Have you played it? Do you want to play it? Do you think it's foolish? Do you think it looks foolish and don't want anything to do with it? Do you love these de types of dexterity games? Do you not? Let us know. Other than that, this has been Kaiser Board. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.